Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Let's Play Tasmania for the Game Boy. This is the first Game Boy game I've ever Let's Played and it just so happens to be one of the first Game Boy games I ever played. Period. Uh, as you can see, released in 94 by Sunsoft. Uh, I have very, very fond memories of this game and I have not played it in a long ass time. A long time. Like long time. Tasmanian Christmas caper, or Christmas Island capers. Alright, so, this game, first of all, I'm playing this, as you can tell, on... Okay, those platforms sink. Good. <laughs> um, this game is older than dirt. I think B is the... Can I... No, you cannot jump on stuff. Spinning is the only way. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna suck nuts at this. Uh, which is just fine, because I haven't played it in so long. But, uh... It, it shouldn't take me that long, either. Um, but this game, right here, was one of the very first games that I ever played. Because one of the... I want that. Uh, one of the... The first... Really... One of the first, uh... Oh man, I can't even talk! I'm so entranced by this! Look at it on the capture screen, holy crap. Um, oh yeah, water spouts. Oh yeah, look at the little Taz, I remember that. Look at the little Taz, one-footed wobble. It's cute. Um, the, one of the things about this is, oh man, that bounces you at when, once it hits the top. Um, one of the very first exposures to games that I had was Super Nintendo, watching my, my dad play Donkey Kong. And uh, whenever I would get into uh, games myself and start playing uh, you know solo by myself the main thing I got was uh, a Game Boy I, I remember I still have it to this day I still have my uh, whoops I'm gonna die yeah game over on the very first level I rock um, I still have it to this day I have an ice blue Game Boy and oh I'm running out of continues um. Hmm. Okay, that. Can I not go back to the main menu? All right, never mind. Um, to this day, I still have my ice blue Game Boy, and that was the first console, quote unquote, that I ever got. And oh man, I suck at this game. Um, and one of the very first games I ever got for it was this game. Now it's not the same exact cartridge. I'm sad to say, I. I like an idiot, I sold that at one point in my life. But uh, I got another copy of it, and damn, it feels good to be a gangster. That's all I have to say. I mean, this game... I remember playing this game all the damn time. All the time. One of the first games that I ever played. By my... S God! By myself. Man, there's no checkpoints or anything. You just restart and restart and restart. I have no more lives either, so... Oh, man. Yeah, so it's really not that hard of a game, as you can, might tell. You have your score to the left, you have three hits and you're dead, and you have lives up there, or right above your hearts. Uh, you have time in the bottom right, which is obviously how long you have to beat the level. And, uh, whoa! Come on, dude! Am I gonna... Whoa! Oh, I just made it full screen. Hello. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it like that, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna say no on continues. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to. Yeah, as you can see, it's so old, but it's so good. All right, I'm going to crank the continues to as high as they'll go. Infinite continues? Hell yeah! I won't do infinite spins because that would just break the game. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but you only get three spins uh, per level. And you can pick up extra spins, I know that, but, oh man, this is widescreen, this is a lot more, oh man. I haven't spun yet, just because I haven't needed to. Yeah, as, I, as you saw, I tried to jump on the fish and kill it, but that didn't work so well for me, so, uh, you know, and I don't need to kill the fish. Whenever I need to kill an enemy, you'll see the, the spinning animation for the first time. But yeah, this is basically the entire game, and as long as I don't suck any harder than I have... Uh, shit. As long as I don't suck any harder than I have been so far, 
this shouldn't take more than I'm guessing, like three episodes? I'm guessing. As you saw, they have passwords. I still get hit there, don't really care. We do have passwords, so uh, I guess it really doesn't matter how many continues I have because I can just get to a certain level and then quit and then come back and... Gosh! Why in the world? That's just... Oh, man, I don't like that little waterfall thing. You don't get any traction off of it, and you just... I I've always noticed how, whenever I played this, how... S I know this sounds weird, but... Whenever you jump with Taz and you're coming down just like that, that solid, like, sprite that he has... Uh, and I'm not talking, like, the soft drink. Like, the actual Tasmanian Devil sprite. Whoops, almost jumped there. There we go, finally. Oh, and these things. Yeah, check out these spins. You can jump while you're spinning, and it eventually wears out, and then you're back. Oh, come on! You kept walking, I didn't even do that. Um, you spin, and then it, it keeps going, and, and it's kind of hard to control, obviously. That is one thing I don't like about this game, is that when you're walking, it you, know, you have to be careful of how many steps you take, because... The game likes to take one extra step for you, even if it's just a slight step. But as you saw right there, it was that's what did me in. All right, so you just gotta bounce off the top of that. Not too hard. All right. Oh, you can actually hurt those things. All right, cool. And I got a heart there. Ah, oh, you can hurt the bird as well. All right, so anything with a beak, you can basically jump on. Took me ten. F oh, come on. And I got a game over. I'm almost 10 minutes into this this freaking video and I haven't beaten level 1. Yes, I'm going to continue. Alright, I'm going to do this right now. If I don't make it on this attempt, I'm fast forwarding through level fucking 1. Oh, you can duck too. Oh, look at, look at sad Taz. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta love Taz. One of my favorite Looney Tunes. It's, if you ever watch the introduction to... Uh, uh, Space Jam and the movie Space Jam whenever they're introducing the starting lineup for the Toon Squad as you see they have all the main characters they have Michael Jordan obviously they have uh, Bugs Bunny obviously and they have Daffy Duck and then they have Lola Bunny who they added for the movie you know because she was good at basketball and she was Bugs' uh, love interest but who was the fifth person on the starting lineup? fucking Tasmanian Devil. Because he just rolls like that. That's just how he is. He's that badass. And I'm doing pretty well right now. I mean, this game focuses on... Sh oh, man. This game focuses on shit. Uh, this game focuses on crackpot platforming. And I am using the joystick right now. I might need to use the D-pad, but I'm using a GameCube controller. But uh, we'll cross that bridge... Literally, when we come to it. See that? We're crossing a bridge. See how things come full circle for me? Uh, yeah, I will... S oh, man. That is one bad... Th another bad thing about this game, too. Whenever you jump, your platform becomes out of uh, visual range. So you can't see where the fuck you're going. Which is frustrating. So you gotta judge it, but... You know. Whatever, right? Who cares? I don't cares. There it is. Yeah, at the end of the level, he's just like, yeah, look what I did. And he just keeps walking. So you got three diamonds or 50 points apiece or something. Yep. And then it adds your regular score. Oh, yeah. Is that Elmer Fudd? Oh, I remember this level. I remember this. You have to, uh... Oh, you have to keep pressing A to get your power. And you have to bounce across the water while you're spinning. And the only challenging part about this level is that you get your your joint too tired for hitting A too much. That's why whenever you hit an island like that, you probably want to let up to give your arm a rest. You mean, imagine doing this on a Game Boy. See, I got that. No problem. Imagine doing that on a Game Boy. I mean, here I have a, a GameCube controller where the A button is really big and it, it detects hits well. Oh, boy. All right, got that. All right, so yeah, other than, you know, other than the camera, I mean, but it is a Game Boy game. You don't really expect the camera to be good in a freaking Game Boy game. So, I mean, that's kind of a given. 
But other than that, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just, you know, you jump. Oh, I'm in the water. Ugh, I go slower in the water. I don't like going slow. It's not a hobby of mine. Oh, I jumped on a fish. I didn't think you could jump on fish. Or hop on pop. There we go. And eventually, yes, the game, uh, the background and stuff does change. Oh yeah, you can duck down and, and look at stuff that's look atable. Alright, come back here, platform. Taz is just depressed as fuck. I don't know. It looks like he does he did some drugs or something. I remember when I was little, that was a big choke point for me because I didn't know that you could look down like that. I need a clock. I need a clock. I need a clock, game. I'm gonna run out of time. I need a clock. Oh, there was a clock there. Oh, you have to you have to have that bird carry you places? Is that what it is? I think that is what it is. Screw it, we're speedrunning this game. No, actually, if I wanted to speedrun... I gotta watch my hearts. If I wanted to speedrun, I would just go and use the spin move every single damn opportunity that I had. I did... I, I, I want to say that I was that skilled as a kid to where I could just use that spin move, because as you saw on that one level, you can jump while you're spinning. So, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can go very fast through levels. What are those little... Oh, yeah, these little these little things, those little jumping birds, those remind me of the pink uh, flamingos that people put in their yards. Alright, carry me over there, bird. Give me that time. Yeah, time. That only gave me, like, what, 20 seconds? I mean, it's still useful, but... It's not a whole lot, so you gotta go. Get me, get me, get me, get me! There we go. Alright, cool. And then drop me off, thank you. Yeah, little pink flamingos, little lawn flamingos. You know, those are actually, I've read, I forget where I read that, but uh, those are actually pretty rare nowadays, actually, those pink lawn flamingos. I mean, they're, they're really hard to come across, so if you ever find a pink lawn flamingo, like at a, at a yard sale or something, get it, because it is worth money. They do not make those anymore. I love how shit like that just randomly comes up in my commentary. Fuck! And I gotta start all the way back from the beginning of the level. Yeah, pink flamingos, you see one, pick them up. Alright, I'm gonna cut forward now. Yes, I am back to where I was. Alright. Another thing I will say that I like about the game is that... The hitbox on Taz is very, very clear and it's very good. Um, oh, platforming! Uh, get to the end, there we go. Yeah, the the... Hitbox on Taz is really, really solid, and it's really good. Um, now only 15 minutes in. Let's do Taz, the game. Oh, this. I remember this. Oh, yeah, they switch up the gameplay and everything. Cause some levels are spinny levels, and other levels are like this, and you gotta... It's basically a race. You just gotta get to the end. Um, that's a gate. Uh, you just gotta get to the end. Or, no, is it a... It's either a race to where you have to get to the end, or it's a... Uh, it's just a point thing where you... Oh, that does hearts. Got an extra spin. Whoops. Oh, man, I just reacted to that. Um. Yeah, if you're spinning, you won't... Oh, I didn't get that heart? I thought I got that heart. All right, so I'm just going to keep my finger on the spin button. There's a heart. All right, now I can... There's a time thing, too. I think it's just a matter of getting to the end. I don't think it's... I don't think it's a point thing. If it was... Alright, I'm back to spinning. I need a, I need a clock here. Or a heart. Clock or heart. Preferably a clart. Crap! Oh, I hit the spin... Oh. I have no hearts left. Oh, I just got a clock. I have no hearts left, but I have... If I took a hit, that was weird. I have 10 seconds left. I missed a heart. Oof. Whenever I see a gate coming, I just automatically hit the spin button, because you never know. Oof. Dodge that one. Base I mean, there's three lanes here. Oh, I, I won. I won. I got it. So basically, you just got to get one clock, and you're good. That's one try. Yeah, it's just to get to the end. I thought it was a... I thought it might be a point thing. Oh, this guy. I thought it might be a point thing because of, uh... 
all the gems everywhere. Man, if I've ever seen a more generic boss, I think, I want to say this whole fight is just, hey, jump on my head. Because there's two hits. Count along with me. Three hits! Ah, ah, ah. Four hits! Ah, ah, ah. This game has better hitboxes than DKCR. Oh, you have uh, the boss life in the bottom left there. Just notice that. And every hit is one bar, so I hit him five times already. And this is six. You just gotta hit him ten times. And you have like 99 seconds to do so. Yeah, this isn't repetitive or anything. I think if you spin and jump on his head, you go through his head. I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna try it for the last hit here. There's hit number nine. And we're gonna spin on him just for good measure. Oh, that I, oh that does more than one hit. Yeah, and he's just befuddled. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Level complete. All right, so how many levels are in this? I need to go. There's the password. Three, four, five, three, seven, one. I forget how many levels are in this game. They're like different films. Easter Island Antics. I need a copy of Super Mario Land. I'd play the shit out of that. Oh, yeah, the levels are a lot bigger now, I think. Yeah, I remember this. Ah, oh, childhood and stuff. I can walk on clouds as well. Did you not? Did you guys know there are flamingos in clouds? Because there are. Yeah, just jump randomly. That's great strategy, BC. That's fine. That's okay. That's great. That's awesome. Perfect. Whatever. Do it again. Infinite continues. <laughs> I am a god. I have 80 seconds to do this, which is a lot of time. Okay, want that heart? Thank you. And this is where, you know, there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more fleshed out land, you know, to where you have room to do stuff. Whoops. So, uh, now you can start spinning like a madman if you like. I myself am going to wait on this little marshmallow cloud. This little marshmallow bone cloud thing. Jump on a duck, because duck jumping is one of my favorite things. Don't know about you guys, but jumping on ducks is a national pastime in the state of Indiana. Yes, Indiana is a nation. Don't question me. All right. I'm looking for a heart here. Don't want to bite the dust. Whoa, okay. Had to burn a spin there, else I would have died. But as you see... Oh, man. I'm not sure if you can do that whole uh, spin jump on the... Fuck spin jump on the water thing with just a regular spin. I think that might be for special levels only. I think. Do not know, though. And these little blackbirds are, are there are birds. Speaking of blackbird, fucking, uh, whoops. Um, Alter Bridge announced their new album. Fuck. Look at Taz dying. Blah. Um, Alter Bridge announced their new album. It's called Fortress. And it's going to be released October 8th. And I'm so excited because I love Alter Bridge to death. Such a great band. My favorite band currently that is in rotation. And by rotation, I mean active. Favorite band not in uh, rotation, if you will. That would be Queen. Favorite band that is Alter Bridge. Also, fucking uh, Fall Out Boy's back. And I love Fall Out Boy. But Alter Bridge... Well, Full Out Boy was on their hiatus. Alter Bridge took over as my favorite band. So. Man, I'm just losing hearts to ducks. And shit. That jump's kind of hard to make. Uh, man. Oh, uh, I remember that actually being a very uh, problematic uh, situation. I like how Taz walks so lazily, too. He has his arms to his side. And he's just like, hey, what's up? Don't hit me, bird. I'm going to look depressed over here. You just don't hit me. Man, these birds, too. I find these birds interesting because you can only hurt them, like jump on them, whenever they are down on the ground. Or, I mean, whenever they're up in the air. When they're down on the ground, you jump on them, and they don't hurt you. It's really odd. Jumping on ducks. Jumping on ducks. Man, you almost have to... There we go. Uh, yeah, you almost have to... I know I didn't do it the first time I did it, but uh, you almost have to spin jump to get up there. 
on that one platform because it's really difficult. Jumping on the peanut cloud bridge platform thing. Jumping over here. Gonna try to dodge the birds because I don't... Alright, didn't dodge the bird there. There's a clock. Need a scotch. Oh, man! Dang! Alright. Uh, I'm gonna cut forward. Don't pause. Just cut forward. Just like that. That's that's how pro I am, or used to be, or am now. I don't know. Point is, I used up a lot of spins, and that got me ahead in life. Actually, I take that back. I already had a head in life, plus my other appendages. So that got me ahead in the game. Jumping on that bird. Jumping on that bird. Jumping over here. Gonna go ahead and burn my last spin, because, you know, YOLO, right? Gonna kill that bird. Alright, so I'm out of spins. I have one hit to spare, so I'm gonna take it easy here. Nope, can't do that. Gotta go over the cloud. Is there a platform I gotta hit? Or not? It's gotta make the jump. Gosh diddly dang darn it. Alright, when I continue, where do I continue from? That's the question. Right back here. Alright, gonna cut forward again. Nope, can't do that. Alright, so make this jump. Just randomly jump over here. Land on a duck. Because that's normally where you land when you just jump on ducks. I need a heart like you wouldn't believe right now. Oh, man, the, the one thing about this game is that the enemy movements are... Oh, come on! I died by a duck. The enemy movements are really sporadic. Alright, screw it. I'm going to try to speedrun this. Cause this game, honestly, is a, is a really fun game to try to speedrun, just because you can spin and go so quickly. Because I know you can jump here. Yeah, see? Finding all the little speedrunning tactics for this game would actually be pretty fun, in my opinion. Don't ask me to speedrun this game. <laughs> I'm just saying in general. The, the uh, AGQD guys, or average... Or awesome games done quick. Uh, A G D Q. Yeah, the uh, uh, speedrunner guys. You know, uh, the damn. It, what's the name of the channel? Um. Uh, Speed Demos Archive. Yeah, you guys speedrun this. If anybody knows anybody at Speed Demos Archive, tell them to speedrun this, and 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 I'll donate money to. Uh, if they honestly, if they do this during a stream, if anybody can convince. The, oh, look at that fish. That was interesting. If anybody can convince the average games done quick guys to do this game during one of their streams for cancer research, I will donate money. If they can do this game, if anybody can successfully speedrun this game, I will donate money. I will donate like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. Depends. Depends on if they do it or not. I'd just like to see it done. That'd be pretty awesome if we as a group could convince them to do a game. Especially a game that I like so much. I like this game. It makes me feel good in Chad. Alright, so this... Oh man. As you can see, the, the levels are a lot more fleshed out now uh, as opposed to the first area. And, uh, I mean, that's not saying a whole lot, but in, for a Game Boy game at least... Oh, come on. All right, not gonna fall to the duck again. No death by duck for me. Is there a platform I need to be looking for? No, it's just a thing up here over there. All right, and there's the end of the level. Awesome. And that is half an hour. I kind of want to get to... I'm going to be cutting stuff that out. Though. some of that out, though. I want to get to... Oh, yeah, this is another one of these. I want to get to the uh, the last level, though. I want to I at least clear th two areas before I keep going. So, let's just do that. As I bounce across the water. These are so easy. I don't think I've ever gotten the thing to go up to all six bars of power right there. Because that's your, uh, that's your bouncy power level thing. I think it's like an average level and then this bouncing across the water minigame. And then another average level and then a racing minigame. And then the boss. I think that's the... the way things go, maybe? Oh man, my arm is dying. Come on, get to the end. 
Thank you. Jeez. That's like, that's, that's almost like a workout. Almost. A little bit. I just burped. Tiny bit. All right. Oh, no, it's this again. Hey, I like this. All right, I need a clock. Come on, clock. That's a heart. Don't need a heart. I need a clock. See, the thing is, is that, you know, these are coming by so quickly that everything is good except for a gate. And when a gate shows up, your instinct, or I mean, you want to jump over it. And if you don't, then you take a hit. And see, just like that. It's really hard to jump over gates. See? Oh, man. I see. I saw something in the distance, so I jumped. Turns out to be a gem. And I still got the gem. Wanted that heart. Couldn't get it. I'm going to jump like an idiot. I, you can't change your trajectory in midair. So when you jump, you are... St oh, crap. Just jumping like a dumbass. When you jump, you are stuck there. I want to say you can spin through the gates as well, but I think you can. Get back on the course! Damn it! Don't tell me I'm going to lose to one of these levels. These levels are stupid easy. Alright, went through that one. I have one spin to burn. One more. Give me a heart or a clock. Whoa. Oh, man. Okay, that was just bad reaction time by me. Missed that heart. When the... Oh, man. I... Because there's... Yeah, I died. Um, there's three lanes. Oh, man. I have no more continues. Ah! There's three lanes, middle, left, and right. And whenever you're in the middle lane, at least, whenever there's a gate coming on the left or right, it looks like it's in the middle. So that's what I reacted to in that last one. Awesome. Going to just spin through that. No problem. Gonna stay in the middle lane. Whoa, okay. Got a heart. Awesome. Man, I don't know if I should jump. I don't know if I should spin. I don't know if I should do the hokey pokey. There's so many options here. Especially when you make Taz jump. Or, I mean, jump. Uh, dance. And I'll show you that on the next level. Screw it. Oh, man. It's kind of just testing your reflexes, honestly. This whole game's a workout. These test your reflexes. The level where you got to skip across the water test, test your your arm endurance. This whole game is just a workout. <laughs> there were some fit 5 and 10 year olds playing this game in the 90s, I'll tell you what. Alright, middle lane, hog in the middle lane, there's the thing. I guess the main strategy on this you want to do, I got more time. I guess the main strategy you want is just to try to stay on the road as much as possible and just don't hit the damn I mean, obviously, don't hit the gates, but uh, other than that, the only thing that'll slow you down is the the edges of the board, you know? So, just don't hit the gates. There we go. Don't hit the gates, and uh, if you, you know, try to stay center, obviously. That way it doesn't slow you down. But other than that, it's not that hard. There's no way I should have died. Oh, yeah. This thing. Oh, what the fuck? All right, I was picking my nose. I wasn't ready to, to mess with the boss there. This reminds me of a... Oh, yeah, you can hit him twice. I remember this. This reminds me of a Joe and Mac boss, actually. And... Oh, yeah, I'm going to fuck you up, dude. Or, I, I, I wanted to fuck you up. I could not, but I tried. All right, one hit there, and then one hit back. So he has ten bars, just like the first boss did. So it should only take five cycles. As you saw, I tried to use the spin on him, but that didn't work out very well. Crap. Oh, jeez. I think the spins will protect you from the falling boulders as well. I think. I'm just going to go ahead and burn some spins here, because I have a couple hits. Yep, it, the spins protect you from... Whoops. Yeah, the spins protect you from the boulders. All right, so there's that boss down. And he holds up a gulp sign. He did that for the first boss, too. And the password is... Whoops, I skipped over it. That was really, really fast. I'm going to have to check that in editing. All right, so in the next episode, we're going to do Fantasy Island Frolics. Okay? So until then, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here.